give you some scenery. That little girl had a shirt on, said so still killing it. Shoot, she's too young to be having a shirt on like that. Somebody my age at 55 should be wearing a still killing it shirt. trees are just kind of changing some of them got some oranges and some yellows in with the green browns it's a nice day So y'all say you feel like you're in the car with me. I guess you really feel like you're in the car now watching the road, eh? So there's some red on that tree. Look at all the leaves on the ground already. Oh my goodness. Fall is here. Yay. Ooh, those pretty bright, bright, bright red flowers. I forget what those things are called. travel these roads all the time when I was in high school partying. I was one of those party kids. I never have um, gotten my light checked yet. I told David I needed him to check my tail lights and stuff one day when he was home, and that's yet to happen. So when I turn my left blinker on, it's going to go different than the right one. So I don't know. I might have one of my headlights might be out. Not completely. One of my bulbs, I think, might be. I don't know. I've got to get my son to cooperate with me, figure it out. We've got their pumpkins out, orange lights on their house there. Wasn't that pretty? I always get fumbled in my head trying to figure out which way to go because there's so many different ways to get there. And it's like, oh, should I go all the way down there and go back up this way? Or And then it's like, oh, well, I'll just go this way. This is a pretty route. Back roads instead of the expressway. This barn up here on the hill to the right, they is a, um, these people here have a airplane of some sort, a small airplane. Apparently it's small. And then this Behind it, as we were coming up on the side of me over to the right, is a big, long stretch, flat stretch, where I guess they take off and land. So that's kind of neat. We live in a pretty place here in Kentucky, I think. Nice homes. We're closer to Cincinnati, Ohio, than um, we're so we're north of Kentucky.
somewhere over here on Turkey Foot Road now. In the more rural area, we're getting, we're into Erlanger now. We're out of Independence, Kent County. We are in Erlanger. Some more uppity places, nicer homes. Close to the hospital. I don't know what I was thinking about going the other way because this is like mainly the main road that I have to take. just turn off right over here I'm so see I just get brain dead when I'm trying to figure out what to do I used to do a lot of stomping over here in my early 20s lived over here well not on this side but um, I lived in a trailer park for a while like 12 years with my kids Lisa, I'll tell you a little story. I met Lisa through my daughter. She was um, going on uh, maybe a year old or close to it. She was very, very petite for her age. Well, she still is. Um, and she was crying in a little store that we had in the trailer park. And um, Lisa tried to uh, get her to come to her. And I said, she won't come to you. She wouldn't go to anybody. Well, she went right straight on over there to Lisa and jumped right in her arms. And that's how we became friends. She started babysitting my kids off and on. And then she and I started going out and partying together. And her younger sisters would watch my kids when my kids were home. I normally only went out if my kids were at their grandparents. Uh, my ex-husband used to pick the kids up and take them to his mom's and drop them off for the weekend. And her, she used to... She raised my kids on the weekend, every other weekend. They went camping with them and did all kinds of good things, which at first I was kind of mad, but I was very young. And um, I was mad because he wasn't taking care of them. But, you know, as I got older, it's like, well, I'm glad that they went there because I knew that they were bathed and dressed nice and warm and ate and weren't hanging out in a bar or anything like that. So they, I was very thankful for my ex-in-laws. My ex-mother-in-law was a saint. She could do anything. I don't know if I told you all, um, when I was pregnant with David, um, I went to the doctor, the OB doctor, and I left that office crying because I, ooh, isn't that a pretty red car? That's like candy apple red. Um, anyway, squirrel. Uh, she, I gained 11 pounds in one month and he chewed me a new one. But it's like, oh my gosh, she was the best cook. And she would make yeast rolls and um, like cinnamon rolls. And she's, oh my gosh, she could cook. She would make her own patterns for things. She didn't really buy patterns to make clothing. Um, she could sew, oh my gosh. She would make patterns out of like paper bags or newspapers. She was from Wisconsin, and um, then uh, she could knit, she could crochet. No, I don't think she could crochet. She knitted and she quilted. Oh my gosh, she was just, I'm telling you, they broke the mold when they made her. But her daughters um, were very talented in that way. Uh, they could sew, and um, one of them that has passed already, she um, used to make cakes. And uh, so she had a bunch of cake stuff. Uh, so that was that. There's some talented ladies, though, I'm telling you. Especially as far as sewing goes. Now we're in Edgewood. And we are getting ready to go to the hospital, St. Elizabeth Edgewood. St. Elizabeth has taken over. There used to be a, we used to have a St. Luke's hospital. Well, it's not St. Luke anymore, it's St. Elizabeth. All of the four of our hospitals are um, St. Elizabeth now. So this is where we spent a lot of time two years ago with my mother. This was our home away from home over here a lot with my mom. Oh, I hated this place. And 
It took me a while. Lisa was in here once before on the same floor that my mom was on her last visit, few visits to the hospital, and it was hard for me to go up there. where that is. I was wondering what that was, but I don't think I can get in there easily, so I'm just going to go up here and park in the emergency where I always park. This hospital has grown tremendously. I worked here for like seven years, five or seven years in housekeeping, and this place has just, oh my gosh, it um, has really grown Lisa's in the old part that I used to work in, and I don't like that part too well, but, and I hope I can get up here and spend some time with her before her husband comes to visit. So we're here, and I will chit-chat with y'all later. Have a wonderful day. It's Thursday, and um, thanks for riding over here with me. I sure do appreciate it, and I will give you an update. Uh, maybe tonight. Um, thanks so much. I don't want to go that way. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by and riding with me. Please subscribe and leave me a comment because I like to chit chat. Let me know what you're up to and what you've been up to and how things are going with you and um, what your weather's like and are the trees turning and leaves falling and all that good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed the trip today, and I will uh, give you an update whenever I get a chance or get one um, when we find out more what's going on. Okay. Thanks a lot, you guys. Bye.